Uh, hi guys, good day. Uh, this is me, Aldrin, and I'm gonna show you how to uh, operate this uh, drone, which is uh, VA 2080. Uh, it, it is a, a small drone that uh, you can purchase on Walmart, and this one um, I buy this for only. Uh, I think nine dollars because it's on uh, sale on Walmart. Uh, I will put in the description on how much is the real uh, price of this one because I don't know how much uh, this one without the sale price. This is the uh, front um, box of the uh, drone. As you can see, the drone is not here only the uh, manual because the uh, drone is already taken out in the box so later i will uh, show you uh, the drone but right now i <clears throat> i wanted to show you the uh, box of the drone so it's easy to, for you to uh, search this on the uh, walmart or in the google so this is the uh, front box VA2080 ultra compact folding micro drone um, uh, this is the uh, the company who made the drone uh, Voyage Aeronautics and uh, this drone is very easy to uh, control even you are a beginner or uh, intermediate or a pro um, it's very easy but uh, I will show you how and then the uh, this is the uh, this drone sorry this is drone is uh, had a six axis gyroscope um, 360 stunt rolls yes uh, you can he can do a 360 stunt rolls in the air later I will show you and ultra compact folding arms yes because it's easy to uh, fold the uh, the uh, drone into your pocket and three speed setting yes there's a uh, three speed setting which is uh, the normal speed uh, uh, a controllable speed second speed is much faster then the third speed is uh, a lot quicker then this is the uh, it includes the uh, this one um, the controller yes and then two manual for english and uh, french and the uh, uh, the, the materials um, comes with this box is these two manuals and uh, the AS screwdriver there as you can see sorry there's a screwdriver there and then uh, you got the um, charger this is the drone charger and the um, drone itself so sorry there this is the drone and as you can see you can uh, fold the drone if you want and also yeah, there so and um, before um, before I start uh, flying this drone uh, before I forgot uh, I want to tell you guys that uh, this uh, sh shield uh, blade I don't know how what is um, uh, what is the call of this or what is what is this one it protects the propeller for uh, damaging your propeller when you're flying I don't know uh, what is it called but this one it's also included in the box as you can see so yeah it's very uh, good for a beginner um, uh, person so I uh, just like me I'm not uh, pro on this uh, I mean I'm not uh, very techy on droning this is my first uh, drone so as you can see I can uh, drive this drone without uh, um, 
this uh, this charger had no adapter included so uh, you're the one who uh, you're the one who got I mean you're the one who provide the uh, adapter for this charger so for those who don't know what is the adapter this is the anything any kind any kind of adapter but this one uh, this one I use this is for the our light in our LED lamp so anything any um, adapter you can use so you can push it like that and uh, consider before you uh, you know your you guys want to uh, uh, fly this one immediately but this one is very important so as you can see if you buy this kind of model of um, uh, drone you need to understand that if there is a light here as you can see if uh, no light if you unplug, unplug this charger so if you if you have if you plug this on a, in this one as you can see there's a light so let uh, we, we will uh, plug this uh, drawn into the charger I will show you so right now guys the uh, drone is charging and the the charging the charger is already in plug and this is the charging port it's in the uh, bottom part of the drone yeah, right there and then as you can see there is a light in the plug yes so it means that the charge at uh, the drone is already been charging and then when the lights comes off it means that the uh, drone is already is already been uh, fully charged so it takes about um, nine minutes to fully charge the drone if I'm mistaken uh, I mean sorry 15 minutes to 20 minutes before the drone is it was fully charged then you can use the drone about um, three to five minutes on flying or flying so that's it let's move on to this controller so it is easy very easy this one is the light uh, sensor I mean when you push it uh, on this is the off on button of the controller so when you push up the controller uh, became on and when you push down this controllers off and this is the light indicator that will give you that this controller is on and this is the automatic in flight mode and automatic um, to call this uh, land mode so if you want to automatic land your uh, uh, helicopter this is when this is when you uh, uh, push this button the helicopter is already on automatic landing and when you try to push it again the helicopter is automatic to go and fly but later i will sh uh, i will tell you before we uh, fly the uh, helicopter uh, i want you to let you know that this one is uh, be careful with this one sorry be careful with this one okay so for now uh, next is um, this is the trim button this as you can see there's four out here uh, four button uh, as you can see this is left and right trim so it means that uh, if the helicopter is going to the right for example this is the helicopter if the helicopter is going to the right every time you uh, fly the helicopter push it to the left so 
the helicopter uh, just push it once just so the helicopter uh, will uh, suddenly go to the uh, left side so try if you, the helicopter is going left side push this uh, right trim if you can see there is a L and R so you can control your uh, helicopter which side is uh, want you to go to the helicopter I mean this is for uh, balancing your helicopter so this is one is for um, front and back trim so when your helicopter is going forward so go to the uh, this uh, B or back trim so every time you trim just push one then when it when the helicopter is still uh, going forward still uh, uh, push this button until the uh, helicopter is going nowhere uh, you will you will uh, you will know that your helicopter is uh, already been trimmed when he's already hover like this and and it doesn't move or it's not going left or right going forward or backward so means that the helicopter is uh, uh, properly trimmed so this one is uh, very important the streaming button when you are flying the helicopter this one is the uh, this one is the your best friend so the next is button is i think i mean not button stream uh, i'm sorry trim a stick this stick in the left is the res uh, responsible for going the, the helicopter up and down so as you can see you can flip it down if you want the helicopter down and you can flip it up if you want to go up and this is the right stick when uh, the controller you want to uh, uh, go to uh, any other direction so you want to go uh, up down left right this is the uh, uh, control oh, which do you want the helicopters to go so in the upper part of the controller there is a um, stunt and the speed so as you can see in my first uh, in the first part of the video I, sh I uh, tell you that there's a three speed so the first when you push this you will heal uh, you will uh, hear a bit a uh, uh, beep uh, beep one is the first or the neutral beep second beep is the um, second speed and when you hear uh, three beep means that the uh, the drone is already in the third speed and when you want to uh, go back to the uh, uh, controllable uh, drone just push this again and you will hear uh, one beep so it means that you are already in the neutral uh, speed so this one is the uh, stunt uh, uh, button which is uh, this drone can uh, go like this in circle uh, later I will show you how but before you uh, push this button you need to know that uh, you need to uh, in the you need to push this in the second speed because if you do this in the first speed you cannot uh, this one uh, is it, it does it doesn't function so even you push this one and then push in any direction uh, there's no um, there's no uh, circling around or stunt so you need to push this twice or you just need to go to second speed or third speed before you can tick this and you will hear a beep and then uh, you can push to any direction the uh, the drone will flip like this in the air and maintain the uh, his position 
so that it is a good uh, stunt here so yeah just so that's it that's the function of the controller okay so look for this uh, button so press this and when you see and hold it i mean hold it for the meantime three to four seconds and when, when you see the drone is start flashing uh, it means that the drone is searching for the controller so the controller you, you need to start the controller you press up okay press up and down there so as you can see the drone is stop uh, flashing it means that the controller and the drone is connected so next is you need to uh, you need to calibrate the drone so search for any uh, flat surface don't uh, uh, don't put the drone in uneven surface you need a flat surface to uh, to uh, stabilize the drone in the air because sometimes when the drone is flying it, it, it uh, if this is not stabilized it will going to the right side maybe into the uh, in this uh, this way so it is important to calibrate your drone in an uh, in a flat surface to uh, to when the drone is flying it is over okay now go yeah, I will show you how to calibrate uh, press these two stick together on the uh, right uh, uh, right corner okay just like this so it start flashing it means that uh, the the drone it's already been uh, calibrated it means it means that the the, the drone remember the calib uh, the surface uh, the surface okay okay and now um, let's go uh, manually start the drone okay so the for uh, don't forget like i told you before don't use this um button because it will eventually accidentally uh, go up and never go back okay so don't use this okay uh, on this one use a letter b uh letter b uh like this uh, b so right now as you can see the drone is start spinning i mean the pro propeller starts spinning so it is ready to fly okay so that's it as you can see uh, so now when you see the uh, propeller start moving you can press the uh, left stick to go up so again this left stick is the the main function of this is to go your um, your uh, drone to go up and down like this and this one okay go up and go down that's the only uh, function of this and this one is for the horizontal i mean the forward backward left and right okay so okay let's fly this drone before i forgot guys um please if you are uh if this is your first drone or this uh, are you if you are a beginner to use a drone remember to uh, search for front and back because this is what I do when I got the first when I when I got my first drone um, I search for the front and the back of the drone so I know where where, uh, where is the where is the drone go because if you uh, for example uh, the drone now is in this side is the back you have the red and this is the front so if you uh, put this like this and you go forward like this the drone will go uh, go to you so it is uh, very difficult for most of the beginner because the control is uh, because, because you do not know how to control the drone so I suggest that you do this uh, the back of the drone is spaced to you facing you so it will uh, more manageable when you when the drone is already flying so 
again paste the back on you okay so i'm gonna show you how to uh plug this down so first uh hold the on note button connect the controller so to connect the controller uh press up and down then calibrate press the boot stick on the right then uh, do the manual uh, fly press this two stick to, it's like a letter v okay v is based in victory okay let's go So to manually landing this drone, you can push this button. Okay, if you uh this button. Okay, if you want to manually land your uh, drone, push this. Okay, but do not use this when you first start the uh, drone because it will go up to will go up and <laughs> I think never came back. So I don't use this for starting just use this okay but, but when you want to land this drone you need to press this one so it will uh, descend uh, to uh, landing so be careful not to land in the waters but be sure to land it somewhere that is safe okay okay again let's try so thank you guys for um so thank you guys for the um for joining me on how to uh, fly this uh, drone so i hope you guys uh, enjoy and hope hopefully understand on what i'm saying <laughs> because um i want to uh, share this with you okay so good day and thank you for watching subscribe for more videos okay thank you have a good day